Hey everybody, welcome to Josh Delaria's Musical Escapades. My name's Josh Delaria and I'm super excited today because I get to do a first time listen once again with all of you guys. I feel like it's been forever since I've done one of these. I feel like, I think it was probably like October or November the last time I did this with Hush Kids. Um, I'm really excited about this because one of the things I love about doing these first time listens is that I never have listened to these songs before. And uh, you guys get to see more of my like raw reactions and like how I actually kind of like interpret things the first time I ever listened to something. And I think that's kind of cool in a lot of ways. So I originally heard of this band Grant Farm as I was listening to Music City Roots one time. Now if you haven't heard of Music City Roots before, it's kind of like a nationally syndicated radio program that's based out of Nashville. Uh, where all these musicians will come and uh, play together and um, it, it's basically like a huge concert full of a bunch of different bands. Usually I think it's like four or five bands playing four or five songs at a time. And so uh, I heard this one band uh, as I was listening one time called Grant Farm and uh, I really enjoyed a lot of their music. So after hearing them on Music City Roots, um, I went and looked them up and found out that they had released a top 20 eligible album in that year. And so I picked up one of the songs from it called Get In Line, and it didn't quite make my top 20, it was a couple songs off, but I do remember 2016 being a very competitive year for that top 20, so uh, being a little bit off in that year is probably not that bad. So at one point I had figured, you know, why not feature that song on the channel and, um, you know, go from there. But then I, I don't know what I was thinking, but I said, you know, why don't I look and see if some of these bands that I want to feature have new music coming out so that I can see them for first time listens down the road. And it turned out that Grant Farm had some new music coming out, which they released just a couple weeks ago. So I decided I'd, you know, wait for that new album to come out. And now that it has, I'm ready to give it a first time listen here. And so the new album is called Broken 2. And the song I'm going to play for you is the first one on that album called Morning Train. Yeah, Morning Train. And so give me one quick second to get my uh, headphones plugged in and everything set. Okay, I am now ready for you guys, so let me go ahead on here and play Morning Train by Grant Farm. Sense in time. 
Yeah, some of these lyrics I think are still a little bit shallow, as I was saying, but there are spots where I think they come out and do a great job of using some great vocab and things like that. I figured. So, um, there are some kind of obvious things that I think stand out. Um, I think uh, some of this, some of the lyrics are really good. Like the "Don't uh, doesn't take a dime to spare," or "Only love can fire the engine." I thought that was really good. Um, I love their solos. I thought those are really tight, um, very well organized, very well executed, and. Um, I think that outline at the end of the chorus, the you know, there's no time for looking back, or whatever it was, I can't remember the lyrics, but uh, I thought that was cool too. Okay, so I don't really have much to say on the back end of this song, now that I've listened to it and I've gone through it as I've listened to it, but um, I do want to circle back to these solos, uh, so I'll play the first one here. <laughs> So one of the best things about this solo is that they actually stay within much of the scale. Uh, so they're not playing a lot of off notes that don't sound right. Uh, and pretty much everything sounds really, really smooth. Um, they're also uh, playing, playing well in terms of dynamics as well. And so they're playing every note that seems like at the right pitch, at the right time, right contour. Everything seems to be pretty well freezed in those solos. All right, let me go to the other one here. This is where I said that this might be kind of weird sounding, and I wasn't sure why they did it, and it kind of ironed out as I listened to the rest of the solo here. <laughs> Yeah, I think the reason why this one actually struck me struck me as very good too is because it was kind of like an unpredictable solo where you weren't really sure what was going on with the instruments, and so that kind of that kind of makes things cool for your ears too. Um, you could also think of that guitar as having, or I don't know if it's the guitar they're playing or if it's the keyboard, just whatever it was, it seemed to have a very different timbre uh, or like tone if you want to think of it that way, and so. Um, that's something else I really liked about it, too. It's one of those that'll actually just keep you on your toes. So, do I feel like this song has the opportunity to make the top 20? Um, possibly, I think. Uh, it kind of depends to me on, um, because I feel like a lot of these lyrics are kind of shallow. Uh, I do kind of worry about it not making the top 20, and so I'm not quite sure if I could see it being on there yet. Uh, obviously I've only listened to the song once, and actually well, maybe kind of part of twice now, so I don't necessarily have a clear picture of whether or not this song is going to be on the top 20, but I think it has a chance. Alright, that's all I have on this video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys like Grant Farm and you want to check out more of their music, you can go and check them out on their website, grantfarm.net. And if you'd like a first-time listen just like I did here with Grant Farm, 
please do let me know. If you want to send me your music, uh, you can send it to my email here at joshdelariasmusicalescapades at gmail.com or uh, message me on Facebook at facebook.com slash facebook.com slash josh these musical escapades um if you want to just put somewhere in the message that you want it to be listened to for the first time on camera uh i might i don't know for sure if i will uh but if you can convince me well enough uh you never know uh i might put it on as a first time listen for you but uh, in any case um even if you don't get the first time listen i might still feature it here on the channel uh, particularly if i like it so uh, obviously i don't tend to feature songs that i don't like so there you go Again, thank you all for watching. Until next time, go make great music.